It's an inside look at an elite Air Force unit tasked with taking down a Taliban commander. Incoming, incoming, incoming. Call the tower, call the tower. Body up attack. Let's go. Man, we don't know. IDF attack, get all the hotels up. Let's go! Possible ground attack, it says there. Inside combat rescue, the last stand takes viewers into hostile Afghan territory for an up-close look at the lives of our servicemen and women. It premieres this Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern on National Geographic Channel. Staff Sergeant Justin Miller is one of the members of that Air Force unit. He joins us live this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. We're going to talk about the show in just a minute, but uh, you've been in Afghanistan. You're looking at what's going on in Iraq right now, where it looks like this insurgent army is heading for Baghdad. They've already captured a bunch of territory. What do you think? I think it's... Uh completely feasible when you have an insurgency group that operates in a, in a specific area and they hide amongst the people the normal people it's hard to stop something like that uh, I do believe that the Iraqi fo uh, force the national police the army and, and stuff like that are capable of stopping something like that sure it's just a matter of time I guess it is just a matter of time well, tell us a little bit about uh, the show that you are featured on so in that particular episode you're looking for one of the bad guys who is he uh, it's actually, it's a two-hour special, it's, uh, and in that particular ex episode, we're looking for a Taliban commander by the name of Saab Hanula. Uh, in that particular clip, he had launched an attack, a rocket actually struck the base, killing four Americans and wounding eight, um, and, or 18, I'm sorry, and we went on a manhunt for him to try to find him. Sure, and it's da this is dangerous work you're involved in. Yes. When did they when did they film this? Uh, this was filmed in June July time frame of 2013. Okay, how did they find your unit? Uh, last season they actually did the inside combat rescue um, on the PJs in Kandahar, uh, Afghanistan. They came to Bagram to do a second season. Right. Fortunately for you know the U.S. troops over in Afghanistan, not a lot of injuries were happening. Sure. So the PJs didn't have a lot of work going on. So. But you had, uh, they had uh, plenty of action this season, don't they? Uh, oh, yes. Absolutely. Well, we've got a clip uh, where we want to show where you are talking to some of the younger guys about what it's like to readjust when you go home, and in particular, when you got kids, as you do, two young ones down in Texas. I could not take out the trash, and my daughter would be in front of the door. Like, no. And then when I had to go back to work, she thought I was going back to Iraq. And she would cry. People change, things change, music changes, um, interests change, television changes. You want to go back into what you left six months ago. Well, six months ago, the different world and what you're going back into now. It's hard readjusting. Absolutely. One of the things about th this particular program is, uh, you know, ex you explain what the Air Force does. People think, oh, the Air Force, they just fly planes. Exactly. Yeah, that's a, a common misconception, I guess. Everywhere I go and people ask, oh, you're in the Air Force. What, what plane, plane do you fly? And right. it's not like that. So, Well, it's, it's a great series, and it's uh, great to have you here. Uh, Inside Combat Rescue, The Last Stand, premieres this Sunday, 9 Eastern National Geographic. That's Sergeant. Thank you very Thank much you. for joining us. Thank you for your service. Yes, sir. Glad you're home. Thank you. All right.